Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am testing out Makeup Revolution products and I totally forgot to film an intro so you guys get to hear me talking while also watching me ham it up for the camera. If you guys are at all interested in hearing what I think of these products as well as how I came up with this look, then just keep on watching. Before I get started, I just wanted to apologize for any background noise you might hear. It's my kids playing in the next room. It's kind of unavoidable. It's just going to be noisy. So, um, sorry. Hopefully it's not too loud the whole video. <laughs> but today I wanted to do a little get ready with me video. With a twist, I wanted to try some Makeup Revolution products. I wanted this to originally be like a base makeup video where I test the Makeup Revolution primer, the concealer the foundation and the Lux baking powder. When I ordered those things off of Ulta, uh, they also sent me a little mystery bag of a bunch more Makeup Revolution products. And so I decided to, let's make this an almost full face of Makeup Revolution and see what I think. I have not used Makeup Revolution products before, but I've heard that they're great. They make great affordable dupes for higher end products. So I'm excited to see what I think of them and how they work on my skin. I've already cleansed and moisturized my face. So I'm just gonna get um, right into putting on the primer. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Pro Base Blur Primer right here. And for the sake of testing it out and seeing if it really does make a difference with the foundation, I will just apply primer to half of my face and then leave the other side of my face bare before I put the foundation on. Um, looks like this is a spray. <laughs> that is actually a gel. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and put that on the back of my hand now that I've made a mess all over my table. It's probably way too much, but that's okay. And I'll go ahead and prime this side of my face and then leave this side of my face bare. Just rub it in. Okay. It feels really silicone-y and a tad bit greasy, so I don't know if I like the way this primer feels. But maybe as it dries down, it'll feel less greasy on the face. But it also, ooh. Actually, it feels really soft now that it's drying down. Initially, it feels like it's going to be super greasy. But I feel like as it starts to dry down, it's just really soft. Which is really nice. So now I'm going to come in with the Makeup Revolution... London Fast Base Stick Foundation right here, and mine is in the shade F4. So we will see. If this is a dupe for the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, that is awesome. I honestly don't really like stick foundations. I don't, I prefer just liquid foundations. Um, I feel like stick foundations tend to be really hard to blend. This is the shade F4. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit dark for me right now because I don't have a fake tan on, but I'll just bronze out my neck and we'll just, we'll fake it. We'll fake that I have a fake tan. I'm gonna go ahead, start running that on my face. Actually, I don't think that's gonna to be too bad. I'll do this side as well. Hopefully this doesn't dry down too fast. Maybe I should have started with a little bit first. And I'll just do a little down my neck as well. Because it's a stick foundation, I'm probably going to skip the beauty blender and I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics brush right here to buff it into my skin. Oh wow, <laughs> that blends actually super easily. Oh my goodness. Wow. That takes barely any effort. Like I said before, stick foundations tend to be like super hard for me to blend into the skin and they dry down quickly. I just feel like it's just too much, too much work for me, but this... That was, that was really easy to blend in. And it seems to work really well with the brush, which is awesome. The coverage is really good. I mean, there's some areas of redness like right around my nose here that are showing, but for one layer, it looks really pretty. And on my forehead. My kids are playing outside, so now you probably hear them. In that direction. <laughs> you can tell I've already done my brows and they're still on. I just recently posted a video of me dyeing my eyebrows at home 
with Just For Men's Beard and Hair Dye. And it's, it's a great video. I'll link it up here so you guys can watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But I woke up with eyebrows and it was pretty awesome. <laughs> I might come in with a beauty blender to help it blend into the skin a little bit better. I'll do that next. I'm just gonna add some more coverage. A little bit more on my chin, around my nose. Just a little more, I don't want too much more. It feels actually pretty dewy. It doesn't feel super matte. So I'll be interested to see how it wears on me throughout the day. My skin has definitely changed a little bit. I think originally when I had super oily skin, it might not have worked as well, but. Oh wow, it looks even better with a beauty blender, guys. Okay, I am so crossing my fingers that this is going to last and look good throughout the day because if it does, I will be buying tons of these. It blends so easily. Have any of you guys tried this foundation? And the concealer or makeup revolution products at all? Let me know down below what you think. This is my first time trying any of their stuff, so this is starting out well for me. <laughs> Here's what it looks like right now. It's not sinking into my pores. It's not looking cakey. Um, it is covering up everything really, really, really well. So it's kind of got a dewiness to it. I'm surprised. I thought for some reason, especially when I watched other people put it on, that it was going to be more matte. But on me, it's got a really nice dewy finish to it. So I like it. Now I'm gonna come in with this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, the one that's supposed to be a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Now I love my Tarte Shape Tape, so if this is a dupe for that, again, I would be buying like a million of these because it was like seven bucks. I just love affordable makeup that is good. Like it is a game changer. I'm a mom of four kids. Um, my husband is the only one of us working. I'm staying home, so I love makeup and I love beauty products, but if I can find affordable versions of the things that I love, that is amazing and I want everyone else to know about it too, which is why I like to do these videos. This is the shade C1. I think it's the lightest shade. Put this under my eyes. Okay, so it feels a little bit less thick than the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape is pretty thick concealer. Um, so I'll be interested to see what the coverage is like once I blend this out. Great color though. Down the nose, like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna come back in with that beauty blender and blend that all out. Oh, yeah, that is really good. It does, when I blend it out, it reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape. It looks really smooth, it's full coverage. Wow, I'm so excited, you guys. Ah, this is amazing. I'm just bringing whatever is left on the sponge from blending out down here up onto my lid. Wow, wow, wow. I am in love. Oh, that looks so good. I'm not noticing any difference right now from my primer side and my no primer side. But I'll probably be able to better judge that later on when I check to see how it's wearing throughout the day. But in terms of application, they look pretty much the same on both sides. In the mystery bag came this uh, Makeup Revolution One Sculpt Contour Stick right here. So this is what it looks like, this right here. It says the One Sculpt Contour Stick and I don't know if this is the shade number. It says 5K EQ, probably not, but it's pretty dark, <laughs> so. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Hello, my cheekbones. Right here. And then just a really light line. I don't have a super big forehead, so I don't really like to contour it that much. But. It's kind of. I think I'm going to use a brush to blend it out just because it might be a little bit easier to do. So I'm going to grab this Luxie 660 brush and blend that out.
Okay, that blends out really easily as well. Is Makeup Revolution gonna blow my mind literally with every product I'm using? Because seriously, that blended out super easily. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I am so stinking impressed. I don't usually cream contour either, and because it's kind of teasiest and it takes longer, but this blends out so easily. Put it down. Use my finger to kind of soften that up a little bit. Another thing that came in my mystery bag, I've gotten it all dirty with my fingers, but it is this Ultra Strobe Stick by Makeup Revolution. I am going to open it up first. It looks like it might be a little bit dark for me, but I can always come back in with a lighter highlight here a little bit later. Trying to open makeup with nails is a struggle. Am I right? This is what it looks like right here. Right, and then it's got a little spinner on the bottom. Oh, it looks like it has a little sponge on the bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, it has a little sponge to blend it with, which I probably won't use. Maybe I'll try it. I'll try it for the sake of this video um, to blend it in. But this is what the color looks like right there. Ooh, that's really pretty. You guys can see that. A little bit on the forehead. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And the chin. Oh, I forgot to blend out my contour under my lip. <laughs> there you go. All right, then I'll go ahead and use the sponge side and just blend it out. If you want like an intense glow, this probably isn't going to do it for you. If you want to have a natural glowing from within look, this is pretty good for that. So now I'm going to grab this uh, Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. It is the Lace Baking Powder. And I'm going to go ahead and use that to bake my under eyes, just right under here where I tend to crease, and a little bit under my contour, and then just lightly set the rest of my face with it. This is one that I did order myself off of Ulta. This is what it looks like inside the cap. And I'm just gonna pick some of this up right onto my sponge and pop it right underneath my eyes. I feel like that might be a little dark for me. Uh, that looks a little dark, but we'll give it a shot anyway. It just looks a little too dark to help brighten. Maybe to set your foundation, but with the under eyes and stuff, I don't know if it's gonna work for me, but we'll see. Tap out a little bit of that and just use it to set the rest of my face. And I'll use it for my lids. Now I got in the mystery bag this Unicorns Unite eyeshadow palette, which I'm really excited to try. It looks like it's got a lot of really pretty colors in there, lots of colorful shades. This is what the package looks like right here. It's called the Unicorns Unite Salvation Palette. It's got 18 eyeshadows in it, and I'll go ahead and open it up. It's actually got a really nice case. It's really sturdy and heavy. It's not that really flimsy plastic that you get in a lot of the cheaper eyeshadow palettes. This is what the eyeshadows look like, and it also comes with a brush down here which I probably won't use so all of these up here are shimmers and then these ones down here are matte shades so it's really I was worried that we weren't gonna have any matte shades in this palette so I'm really glad that that there are matte shades so you've got really great neutral tones um, a purple and a black you've got pinks and golds and purples and greens oh that green is calling my name that looks gorgeous and a silver and a black that's almost got some like gold sparkles in it that looks really cool actually. I don't see names on here, which is kind of a bummer because if I wanna tell you guys what they're called, I can't, but that's okay. So I think I'm gonna pick up a couple of these lighter shimmery shades and then I'll grab a couple of the darker ones. Maybe I'll grab this green because I'm like living for it right now and I'll grab that black gold one because I really wanna see how that looks. Here's the black one. 
And then here's the green. Ooh, that's pretty. Here's the light kind of pinky rose gold shade right there. And then here is the kind of peachy shimmery shade right there. Hard to see on my skin because it's so fair. But those swatch pretty nicely. I barely, barely tapped into the pan. I'm gonna grab this scone blending brush right here. And I think I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. Tap into it. It's kind of powdery. I'm just gonna focus this in my upper crease area. Wow, beautiful color payoff, first of all. Secondly, blends beautifully. Makeup Revolution, you are killing me. How are you so affordable? Are you guys not like impressed? I didn't use that much product. And that is really showing up. I'm gonna come in with this darker brown shade and just add a little bit more definition. To do that, I'm gonna grab this BMX 430 crease brush. Grab some of that darker taupey brown. And I'll start focusing it here on the outer corner, keeping it high and blending that into my crease. I'm gonna come back in with this um, scone blending brush just to blend those shades together. Get rid of any harsh lines, the huge. So I'm going to pick up this Vera Mona, this flat brush right here. <sighs> what do I wanna do, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna grab this blue right here. It's got a little bit of like a purpley shimmer in it and see what that looks like. Tapping it out, it's definitely powdery. And I'm just gonna pack that on my lid. Oh wow, that's really pretty. <gasps> I think I'm gonna leave my inner corner bare. I'll put something lighter there. But, oh, that's pretty color. This isn't a color I'd normally wear, but I love how it looks with the browns. I'm gonna grab a little bit more with my finger and just pack it on there for some more color intensity. Oh yeah. Oh. That really makes a difference between that eye and that eye. I'm gonna grab this um, Lexi 237 and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that blue shade and I'm just gonna work it into the crease up here just to help it blend in with those browns a little bit more. All right now I'm gonna grab this BH Cosmetics kind of angled brush and I'm gonna pick up this peachy shimmery shade right here and place that in my inner part of my lid. And then I kinda of like to flick it into the blue just so there's a nice blend between the two colors and that's not such a harsh transition. I'm loving that. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the blue that kinda of got taken away when I blended up in the crease. Oh, it's got this like really pretty purple shimmer in it. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. Oh, I just love how it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, do my liner, my lashes, the rest of my face makeup off camera, and then I'll come back and finish my eyes and use the lip product that they sent me. So I'll be back in a second. Well, the only thing that I don't like necessarily so far from this company is this luxury baking powder. Um, I could have grabbed the wrong kind. I thought that the lace was supposed to be like really brightening and good for lighter skin tones, but I could be very wrong. So you guys can let me know below if there's a better one. But for me, it was way too dark underneath my eyes for baking and underneath my contour. And it just, it, it made my under eye, under eyes look like I had bags. Like after I wiped it away, it was just so much darker than the rest of my areas where I highlighted with the concealer. So I ended up wiping that all off and putting the concealer back on and then just using um, my Bare Minerals um, Invisible Light Shadow Palette, this white right here, just to brighten my under eyes again because they were looking pretty dark. So I'm going to grab this flat uh, BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that bluey purple shade. And I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. Just 
packing it right on there. I'm just go ahead and use the mirror in this palette. That's so much easier. Why didn't I do that before? I'm gonna grab this um, Royal and Lane Nickel BOM 18 brush, and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus just to pick up a little bit more color from that blue shade. And I'm gonna run that all on my lower lash line again. I think I'm gonna grab that same brush and a little bit of this black right here that's got a little bit of the gold in it. And I'm just gonna put that on the very outer edge just to kind of help it blend in with the liner a little bit better. And let it kind of fade into that blue. I'm gonna grab this um, Maybelline Lash Stiletto. It's rubbing off. I use it lots, for, especially for my lower lashes because I just think the wand's a little bit easier. I'm going to grab my Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette right here, and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to pick up some of the shade. It's got kind of an iridescent glow to it. I'm just going to grab this tiny little brush here and just add a little bit more of it to the inner corners, and I'm going to bring it kind of in to meet that blue on the bottom as well. So there's a little bit of a fade. The last thing that I got in my mystery bag from Makeup Revolution is this Salvation Velvet Matte Lip, or sorry, this Velvet Lip Lacquer. This is what it looks like. It says Salvation Velvet, so I'm wondering if it was supposed to come with a Salvation palette, but it is this intense coral shade. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, especially with this look. I like bold colors. <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to be good for me personally. I mean, that's intense. <laughs> I think the shade is called One For All. Does this mean it's supposed to work for everyone? I don't know. But I'm gonna try it. Oh. Um, I'm probably gonna change my lipstick before I go out. <laughs> but I do wanna try it. Just to test the consistency and how it feels on the lips and all that. I mean, I feel like you'd have to apply several layers of this to make it more opaque. The lipstick. Definitely not my color, but I'm going to ignore that just to say what I think about the formula and all of that. It's pretty sticky. I mean, it's not matte, but it's not super creamy. See, my lips are really sticking together. And every time that happens, it starts making the product kind of hang right here oh that does not look cute that's super annoying it's getting worse as it's drying so that's not a good sign um so i would have to say that i am not a fan of the lip lacquer so out of all those things i tested though so far i love everything except for these two which is not so bad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go and clean off this lipstick and do my hair, get dressed, all that. I'll give you my final thoughts and then I'll do a couple check-ins throughout the day to let you know how the foundation and the concealer and all that is wearing. So I'll be back. Uh, really quickly, I just wanted to give my final thoughts on these products before I do my check-ins today. Um, if you're curious about what lipstick I'm wearing, um, I am wearing this Morphe Lip Liquid Lip in the shade Layla. I like how it looks with the eye look. It's kind of giving me 80s vibes. All in all, I love most of these products. I love the eyeshadow palette. It's beautiful. It's pigmented. It blends easily. It's got a wonderful combination of colorful shades and neutral shades as well as shimmers and mattes. So this is very versatile. You can use it for everyday looks or something a little bit more bold and fun and colorful. The Makeup Revolution concealer so far is amazing. It reminds me so much of the Tarte Shape Tape. I get what people say that. At first I didn't think it did because it doesn't feel as thick when you first apply it, but the coverage is amazing. It's very brightening. It, it just looks really beautiful on the skin, so I am happy about that. Um, I love this stick foundation. I was in shock 
by how well it blended in. Looks great with the brush, but I thought it looked even better once I used the beauty blender. This primer, I can't really say yet because just like before, I feel like the this side of my face that I applied the primer looks pretty much the same as this side of my face. Um, there's not really a difference in texture, in uh, how it's staying on. It just all looks very even. So I will be checking in later to let you know if it's helping with the longevity of the makeup. But so far, nothing to report. This strobe stick, it's not super pigmented, but it does give a really pretty glow from within look. So if you're not looking for anything super intense and you just want to look a little bit naturally glowy, then this is great for that. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Would I buy it? Probably not. This Makeup Revolution Sculpt Contour Stick, I love it. I thought it was gonna be too dark, but it ended up not looking very dark once you blend it out. It looks really intense in the package, but it's not that dark once you blend it into the skin. It's actually a perfect contour shade, probably for many people. Um, you could probably build up on it, put more on if you want it to look darker and more intense. I did just use a little bit, so it doesn't look too crazy on me, but it blended beautifully and it just melts into the rest of the makeup so well. Love it. Would I purchase it again? Absolutely. This Lux baking powder, um, it is the lace kind. I don't like it but that could very well be because I didn't pick up the right shade for me. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you purchase a different one that's more brightening, that's better for lighter skin tones, because it really made my under eyes look super dark and end up wiping it off and using a different powder. This lip lacquer, I hated it. Like 100% hated it, would never use it again. It does not feel good on the lips. It's streaky, it's tacky, and it ended up drying more matte as I wore it a little bit longer um, after I turned off the camera, but it still felt terrible. Like it started getting super crumbly and pfft. yeah. I wasn't a fan. So that's pretty much it. That's my opinions on all these products. So I'll do a couple more check-ins throughout the day. I'll probably do a midday check-in and then a late night check-in and let you guys know how it wore um, and give you my final thoughts later. All right, guys, I'm just checking in. It's been about four hours since I put this foundation on. Um, I'm outside, so hopefully you guys will get a better idea of how it looks on my skin. It actually still looks pretty good. Um, of course, my T-zone is where I'm most oily, so there's a tiny bit of breakup happening right here and a little bit around my nose here, but that's not anything that's not normal for me. Um, almost every foundation, even my favorite ones that I've tried so far, I get a little bit. As long as it's not tons, it doesn't bug me too much because everywhere else on my skin looks beautiful. It's not separating or accentuating my pores on any other parts of my face. Um, flip my hat up. Of course you see, it's kind of accentuating my forehead wrinkles a little bit there, but that's also very normal. I have forehead wrinkles, no Botox here, al natural on the forehead. Um, my children even have those. It's because I'm a very expressive person. I'm always lifting my brows. So <laughs> that also doesn't bug me. That's very, very, very normal. So, so far so good. I am really impressed. I'll be checking in again a little bit later tonight and let you guys know how it wore throughout the entire day, but so far I'm really excited. Looks good. All right, it is about 9 p.m. and I'm gonna do my final check-in of this foundation to see how it is wearing. So, um, under here, under my eyes, it looks pretty rough, but that's because I went with my family to the park and uh, my allergies are getting to me, so my eyes are watering and so all of the powder and concealer and stuff underneath my eyes just got crusty and gross so that's not the foundation's fault that would have happened no matter what I was wearing um but yeah everywhere else on my face looks pretty much the same as it did when I checked in around um I think it was 4 p.m um it doesn't look bad I mean it looks really good for having this on for nine hours I could probably get a good few more hours out of this before it started like you know kind of bad but it's breaking up a little bit on my chin but not any more than it was at 4 p.m. Um, my forehead looks the same it's not accentuating my pores still it's not moving this foundation and concealer does not budge guys especially in my t-zone like I really focus on this area this is usually where I see the worst of the product and it looks really good guys this foundation 
$10. Concealer, $7. This is incredible. If you guys have tried this foundation and concealer, comment below and let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I'm so excited that it worked out well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos of me testing different products. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get updated about future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.